Well, we've got Kill Chain coming up, one of our episodes. Petty Officer First Class Daniel Coyne has $72 in his wallet and a gold watch, which according to the inscription was a gift from his grandfather. Not a robbery. It's a seven millimeter. Possible sniper around. So there's a murder investigation that leads us to find a stolen drone. Are you telling me that an alien airship came out of the sky and killed this man? Not alien. U.S. Navy. This is an Angelus surveillance drone. Someone used their own tech against us. It appears that the elusive Benham Parsa, who we've been after for quite a while, is using uh, drones as uh, weaponry. Drone strike six months ago in Pakistan wilderness. Terrorist camp belonging to Benham Parsa. Our response for the bombing that killed Seknav last year. Mission was a success, though Parsa escaped. And there's like a bunch of stuff that happens with Delilah um, and McGee in this episode. Uh, Wimpy Willie, all, AKA McGee, is not really wanting to go on the date to the big gala where his girlfriend is being honored. My boss is not big on time off. Who needs time off? McGee, Delilah's got a big shindig tomorrow night. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. What, you don't want to go? And within this episode, we team up with the Department of Defense. Um, we team up with the DOD, and we end up seeing Hollis Mann, who is, who is Gibbs' ex-girlfriend. Boss, I had no idea. If I did, I would have warned you. Warned me about what? About me. Hey, Jethro. Ellie learns about Gibbs' love life. Coast is clear. Let's do this. One, two, three. Put it up. Ex-wife number one. Diane. We have built a chart that we show on the plasma of Gibbs' love life and the different ex-wives and what we know about them. NCIS does something, of course, that we're all very familiar with at this particular moment in time. There's the ones that tickle your phony bone, and then there's the one that poke you right in the eye duct. <laughs> and this is one uh, that uh, I think conveniently does both. 